Hello everybody, my name is Flare Blitz here and welcome to Mermaid Swan. Now this is the next game along my lovely playthroughs of RPG horror games, which I've done plenty by now. And I've kind of put goodbye Rebecca to one side because that's got some endings that I need to research through in order to know which ones to get because there aren't any uh, walkthroughs I've found on the internet which helped me get those to those endings. But anyways, let's go to Mermaid Swamp and start this game, everybody. Now, like these RPG horror games, there's more to do with the story and... Oh, hello. This game contains gossipy and somewhat images. Please be mindful of this as you play. The author takes no responsibility in advance for any trouble or damages indirectly brought about by the game. Thank you. So yeah, yeah, like these RPG horror games, it's not always about the graphics of the game, but it's always to do with the story of the game. Because a good story can cover up anything. Hello. Rin Yamazaki. Rin Yama Yamazaki. What the? Am I underwater? Okay, that's bad news. That's bad news off the get-go. What the hell am I doing? You're floating in the water. Hello, there's a shadow there. Somebody there? Is there somebody there? Yeah. Is it a mermaid swamp monster? Rin, wake up! Oh, it's a nightmare. Oh, hello. Stop sleeping already for crying out loud. Ah, shut up. I was just taking a nap. That's so bad. One hell of a nap. Yuta's been driving all this time and you've just been snoozing in the back. Sheesh, not a hint for lady in this one. Uh, not exactly interested in being laid like for an early, balding punk like you. Rise and shine, Ben. I'm going to guess you slept well. Guess you started around noon. Yeah, but thanks to Baldy here. More of a rude awakening. Quick your yammering, Yamazaki. Hey, Yuta, where are we anyway? You said something about kicking things to high gear, but we are in the mountains or what? Eh, yeah, my bad. I don't know where this is either. Huh? You telling me we're lost? Yep, don't have the first clue where we are. Great stuff, we're lost. And I bet we're lost in a swamp which has a mermaid in it. You've gotta be kidding. You said the mountains were a shortcut, so I thought you knew the way. Sorry about that. I mean, I did kind of know at first, but fog just got so thick. <laughs> that ain't funny, shrimp face. This is exactly why I don't want to go on a go on no trip in your lousy old GPSless car. Oh, don't kick the seat. Well, now what do we do? I can't even see any signs. Run away. Just go back to where you came from. I say, huh? Yuta, why did you stop? I didn't. It just stopped. Hold on, I'll try the engine. That's bad. Ah, oh, crap. Thing is totally busted. Are you for real, dude? You dumbass. Wait here. I'll go look out. Go look and take a look. Yeah, sorry. I'll go out and take a look. So from the get go, there are four characters. Hi. A oh, good uh, log. Oh, good. It's called log, not save. So we're playing as Yin Marazaki. That's the. I'm presuming that's our the main protagonist of this game. Nothing looks wrong to me. Why the hell is? Oh, I didn't even investigate anything. Hello. Oh, so somebody there. Hi. Hello there. Quite a surprise. What would you be doing up in these mountains, miss? Just an old coot. Damn it, don't freak me out. We were on a trip, but I can't wink kaput. So I guess we're stuck. That's very unfortunate. Is there any way you can stay? Nah, if we can't get him running, I guess we'll be spending the night in the car. You need to do that. My home is nearby. You could stay there. Even if it's summer, it's quite cold in the nights. Huh, for real? Well, let me talk to my buds. I bet you're going to talk to them and... 
They're gonna be gone. The old man's gonna be gone. Are you sure? We don't want to pressure you. Well, I'm a landlord around here, you see. My house is much bigger than my needs. I would appreciate some young folks make use of it. I'm really grateful. Well, get the car fixed and leave tomorrow. Okay. Ah, I can, I can see it now. Wow, that place is huge. Damn, now that's a mansion. I feel kind of bad, Gramps, but thanks. What a nice old man. Is anything spooky in this house? Well, it's really roomy inside too. You've got to be rich, am I right? Haha, <laughs> rich enough to be ashamed of the state of this old place, perhaps. Come on on, and I'll show you to your rooms. It's like a hotel, this is. You could use this room, Miss Wren. Forgive the old-fashionedness. It ain't nothing. I kind of like the old retro fee. Thanks again, Gramps. I'm sure you're all hungry, aren't you? I'll cook you some dinner. Until then, make yourself at home. Thank you very much. This is a, this is a trap. Nothing inside. Nothing inside. And there's an old man. There's some sort of evil protagonist. No, not protagonist. Antagonist. Some evil antagonist of the game. Nothing inside. Nothing inside. Is there really nothing inside? An electrical outlet. Good. I can put my phone there and put it on charge. If I have a phone. Oh, oh, yeah. Interact for bed. I know that interacting with red is bad news on these games. A chest of valuables, maybe, but there's nothing inside all. So, how do I make myself a home? What do I do next? A light stand. Hello. You ain't that old for a building, really. You see the other place out back. Now that's old. Huh? There's another mansion out back? The old man tells me they built this one a generation ago since the other one was falling apart. Huh? So there are two mansions. One's much older than the other. Is the other one abandoned then? A clock. A large swamp can be seen in front of a house. A light stand. Uh, nothing spooked me just yet. Nothing inside. Uh, let's check the rest of these rooms. Hello. Hang on. I'll, I'll talk to you last since you may be... May give off some more store. Okay, yeah, that connects to the kitchen then. Oh, the bathroom. That's a big bath you got there. Golly, that's a huge bath. You can swim in there. Actually, I was you, but... No, is that even a bath? Is that even a bath? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's large. Okay, there's a is a toilet, and there's a toilet over here. It's, okay, it's locked. This is really nice. A TV, a trash can, an old phone, a notepad, a flyer bullies. Come out here, right. Hello, how are you? Hey, Rin, you see a big swamp in front? Yeah, the one you can see out the windows. It's super huge, isn't it? Maybe I'll go swimming tomorrow. Yeah, stay away from me after you do that, because you are going to reek. Yeah, I would not advise going in that swamp. There's probably a big, vicious mermaid in there that will gobble you up and, I don't know. Butt stab you. I don't know. I don't know. With every one of these RPG horror games, there's always some unique elements about it which you will not will not find in any other game. That's because the story. Oh, this reminds me of Paranoia Killer. Okay, that's horrible. That's a mermaid. B. That's that's a mermaid. That's what a mermaid looks like, everybody. Our first little scare of the game. Looking at some artwork. There's an artwork of this mermaid. What the hell happened to you? Please put your note on 
Well, please put your thoughts on a notebook. Nice, your room has a dresser. I ain't got one in mine. It's a great design, isn't it? You can cover over. You can come over to do your makeup in the morning. Hey, thanks a bunch. A dresser. Uh, a light stand, a window, a fireplace. Nothing inside. Nothing inside. Let's try going upstairs. Maybe you shouldn't walk around too much. Don't want Grumps to find me and get mad. That's a good idea, actually. That's a very good idea. Let's go. Whoa, that's one big swamp. Hmm? Looks like some writing. What's this? A stone monument. A man died at. A man did abduct from the seashore. Crap, I can't read this. Maybe she'll try to know about this old stuff. He's got more knowledge than he knows what to do with. Curious about the monument? Ah, old man, you got to you, you not do that. Oh, my apologies. Did you read the inscription? Nah, I couldn't make heads and tails about, of it. What does it say? It's a legend that's told around here. The legend of a so-called... Mermaid Swamp! Legend? It's originated in the middle of the Meiji era. My family has governed this area since around the time. It is said the son of a leader descended the mountains down to the seaside and discovered a mermaid. So shady right down at the gate. Yeah, well, it's a legend. The man was so smitten with the mermaid's beauty that he took her to his mountain home. He created a fish tank for it to live in, and he filled it with water from this very swamp. But a mermaid of the seas cares not for swamp water. The mermaid grew weak and became quite ugly. Her clear skin swelled, her scales fell off, and her voice, as melodic as ringing bells, was reduced to a beastly howl. The mermaid took on a most repulsive form and subsequently died. As a mer and a mermaid's wife is no pity thing. Young women have vanished from a nearby village. It is said to be the mermaid's curse. As such, this monument was put up to mourn her. What do you think? Hard to call it romantic, but interesting nonetheless, yes? Ah, uh, uh. Sorry, don't know about all of it. Tell it to Sitaro. He likes stories and stuff. Ah, is that right? Well, I've prepared dinner now, so come to the dining room if you would. Oh, finally, let's get a move on. Dinner time. Are we going to have mermaid for dinner? Mmm, delish. This is some great stuff. Oh, 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 man. I'm glad you like it. You can slow down a little, though. No, the, the bath is free if anyone wants to use it. You must be tired from the day's events. Please rest yourselves. Hugo, you aren't gonna eat? What's up? Oh dear, the mic is that my go? Yeah, I guess I'm just tired too tired to have an appetite. Well, are you okay? We'll clean up. You get some mess. You can get some mess. Right, thanks, Utah. Yummy, yummy, yeah, all clean now. Why do we have to clean up after you? Do it yourself, yummy yucky. Yeah. Work on your names while you're at it. <laughs> Man, I'm stuffed. I really need to conk out after that bath. Okay, I think we're going to go into our first scary thing, ladies and gentlemen. Because you know what happens when you go to bed. Ah, oh, a nice fluffy bed. Hmm. You know what happens when you go to sleep? Something really bad happens. Another, another nightmare? Huh? Am I underwater again? Must be a dream. Or is it not now? Maybe it's something to do with a mermaid. I mean, I'm not drowning and my eyes don't hurt. Can't move a muscle though. Here comes the same thing again. Somebody's here again. Who the hell is it? Stop staring at me. I'll kill you. No, that's not a good thing to say. 
That ain't a good thing at all. Got some good sleep. Morning already. Um, is everyone else okay? Okay, big. Hello. Hey, Yaka, it's morning. Wake up. Sorry, Ren. I'm feeling kind of cold. Can I rest a little longer? Alright, you're going to be okay. Don't push yourself. Yeah, I'm fine. Maybe I caught cold because of all that fog. Oh, dear. Okay, no one else is here. Nope. Let's check around some more. Anyone in? Oh, hello. Dang, you guys are up early. What's the deal? Early? It's already 10. But anyway, I checked on the car and it's still not looking any better. Could it be out of guess? It's so old. It's hard. I wouldn't rule it out. It's just falling apart. But whatever it is, how are we going to leave? Oh, what's happening here? So yeah, old man, sorry, but can we stay a while longer? That's unfortunate. As a matter of fact, I have to go to a nearby village to attend a memorial service for a few days. That's right. Well, we'll be out. We'll be out soon, man. We won't want to stay too long. Even run a car. You should find your own way walking. Okay, we should find our own way of walking. We can just leave the car and take the train home. No, it's quite alright for you to stay. I'm the only one who lives here after all. And I would quite appreciate someone looking after it. Huh, really? Indeed. And you wouldn't get far with walking in the mountains. Certainly not in this park. You're more than welcome to stay until your car is fixed. Just please don't do anything dangerous, like walking around in the mountains. Alright, thanks, Gramps. Okay, what? Well, I've got to be heading out. Keep an eye on any fires. And again, don't go walking in the mountains. Yeah, yeah. We'll hold, the f we'll hold down the fort. Don't worry. Don't go dying yourself, you hear? Yeah, <laughs> I'll be careful. So long. This is really nice. This is a really nice story so far. Broken down car. Got to this big mansion. And now we're looking after it. Hey, it's evening already. It's evening already? Oh dear. Yeah, yeah, better be getting the bath first. I hate going in after the guys. Fine. Toilet. Sitting on the toilet. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Couldn't really manage to relax yesterday. And having a huge bath like this is... Yeah, okay, good. One of you... You guys getting a bath. Sucks that she's not feeling well. Kind of a waste of a trip. I'm getting sleepy. Don't sleep in the bath. Hmm. Huh? Oh dear. Yeah. The head is this. The water's all gross. It's not. It wasn't this kind of when I got in. Not my fault, right? I'm not that dirty. What's the matter? Ah, oh, yeah. The hell are you barging in me for? <laughs> for real, bro. This is so muddy. Just how gross are you? Shut your mouth, that ain't the problem. The water just got all muffy, muddy, puff like that. Oh dear. Alright, jokes aside, man. Isn't this swamp water? Yeah. And why would it be in the bath, genius? I don't know, maybe with a pumping screwed grew up. Could have mixed in some swamp water. But the shower and toilet looks okay. Well, no baths for a while, I guess. We'll have to hold out until the old man comes back. I'm out. Good thinking. Damn it. What even? Ah, uh, this pisses me off. I'll check on you come and get to bed. A washing machine. This ain't for cow gone. Hi. So Yuka's in this bedroom, isn't she? Okay, she's fast asleep. Yuka's trembling. Looks kind of pained. Is she going to be okay? No, she's not going to be okay. Something really bad is going to happen to her. 
just remembered my cell is out of the battery better get it charging better charge up my phone all right that'll do bedtime yeah bedtime now sorry night yawn because that's what everyone says yawn I hear water again and I'm going to see a strange individual uh, okay this is a slight development we're somehow underwater what in the fresh hell the house is full of water right just a dream and what a weird one yeah quite a weird one indeed <laughs> I'm not being electrocuted as well, bite me. Hello? Yeah, I, I that was my absolute immediate assumption that that thing was going to go to Yuko's room. Because Yuko is not feeling that well. Hello? Mine, mine. Oh dear, this is a dream, what an awful dream. I wonder if you goes up. I hope she's better. Uh, I don't think she's better. I don't think she's better. I don't think... Hello. Hey, morning. Man, you look sleepy as hell. Go wash your face, you dupe. Oh, thanks very much. Hey, Yoko, it's morning. Are you feeling any better? Oh dear, she has no eyes. We can't go to the hospital if it's bad, okay? Yuga? Hey, come on! <sighs> oh no! What happened to you? That was no dream! That was something for real because that thing's nasty! Come on! Yuka, what happened to you? You're all swollen! What the hell? Yuko, what is this? I mean, call an ambulance. Huh? An ambulance? There's a phone in the living room. How they got it? Ah, uh, living room. Living room, living room, living room, living, 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 living room. No, that's the toilet. Bathroom. Where well, was the living room? Was it on the other side? Okay, that music's not helping much. That music really isn't helping much. No, it was the other side, wasn't it? Yeah, this one. 119. I don't hear a thing, but why connected for sure? Is this thing busted piece of. Oh, that ain't the time. Oh yeah, my cell's charging, I'll use that. Okay, this ain't good at all. Is there something gonna be in this room? No signal, I suspect. What? Had a battery, but it's plugged in. I'm freaking charging damage. What the hell's going on? We can't call an ambulance without a goddamn working phone. What the hell happened to Yuka? Her body's all swollen, skin all stiff. Makes me seem almost like a corpse. Shut the hell up. Yuka is sure as hell not dead. She's still breathing and all that. Sorry. Hey, what about Sitaro? Where'd he go? He's off looking for nearby villages or towns or anywhere we can call a hospital. Villages, towns? No way, of any. No, no, sorry. <clears throat> no way. There's any in a walking distance. We don't see any in the car, right? There's no way in this fog. Can't see more than a few meters in front. The hell do you propose then? You want to leave Yuki, Yuko how she is? Who's like the hell boy? Make you. Hello. So how did it go? No good. 
I can't see a thing with the heavy fog. I feel lucky if I even made it back. But you did look, right? Of course I did, but this fog just makes it impossible. I don't dare walk out without signs. I mean, the old man was really insistent about us not walking around there. Okay, around out there. I guess that's what he meant, huh? Well, well, that, well then what? Yuke might, what if she dies? I don't want that to happen. No, Yuke's fine, I don't think she'll die. Huh? That's the truth. She's got a pulse, breathing, no fever, nothing wrong with her other than external stuff. Though she keeps mumbling she's cold. Not that it's any reason for, to leave her. We've got to get her to a hospital. If we just had a map, we could get her out. How about we look for one? Alright, oh, I'm sure we'll find one if we work together. Hey, by the way, Sitaro, about the phone not working and the charger, do you know why that happened? The house's power, uh, the house's power is out. Oh, for goodness sakes. Really? You, uh, Maybe it's an outrage. Well, the guy forgot to pay his bill. Either way, power's out. You can see how dark it is without the lights, right? Yeah, it does seem dark. But why? It was working yesterday. How should I know? Still, Yuko takes priority right now. Gotta find that map. Probably this is a trap after all. Yeah, I got it. Let's search the house together. We we gotta get Yuka help. Yeah, right. Uh Okay, we're gonna leave out of that folks. That's really interesting so far and what a poor poor Yuka she is. Oh dear. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I shall see you all in the next time of Mermaid Swamp. Have a lovely day everyone.